Hi, if you'd like to see what I do with this Danelm Milne charger that cost me $4.99, uh, it's a mirror plate, then stay with me and I will show you. Hi, welcome back. Here are the tools you'll need. Scissors, tweezers, pick, scraper, tape, a stirrer and your etching cream, brush, white spirit, cloth, transfer tape and a Stanley knife. So I'm taking a mirror plate and personalising it for a family member. So this is a really lovely way of uh, decorating something for Christmas and uh, these are available on our website various sizes. Um, and you can either have a split letter or monogram. So here I am weeding out the centres because this is going to be a stencil. And this is a permanent uh, vinyl adhesive that I'm using. I just find that it ensures the cream doesn't seep under, I don't have to do anything else. I'm weeding out or removing the parts that I don't want. Um, and it's fairly straightforward. I do enjoy doing these because it's immediate um, satisfaction. They look so pretty. And at the end, I've uh, included a, a short uh, video of a snowflake plate I was asked to make that really does look very beautiful. Here I am just trimming down the sides. Now when I put it on the plate, I will put some tape around the edges just to make sure that um, the etching fluid, in this case, etchol, but you could use Armour Etch or any of the other etching creams that might be out there. Using paper transfer tape, because I like it for these larger pieces. Like everything, I use my my transfer tape over and over again. So it does last me a fair, fair while. Just burnishing it down, making sure that I've got it. There's my plate. I have already cleaned it with the um, white spirit, so I just gave it a little wipe off. I did that before I started filming. I'm just going to remove the backing sheet and because it's not a very detailed pattern, it's easy. I'm busy trying to get everything ready for Christmas um, ahead of time. Like everybody, it's my busiest time of the year. So, uh, you know, I'd be interested to know uh, what you're doing in order to get ready for Christmas. And don't forget, we're doing giveaways in December each week. All you have to do is like, share, comment, subscribe or subscribe. Um, and that could be on any of our videos on YouTube. And put a flower emoji in the comment box to let me know that you want to um, be included in the giveaway. And... Each week it will be a different item. Um, it will be things like the uh, Grandma light bottle that I previous ma previously made. A mirror like this with um, your initial embossed in it. Not embossed, what am I saying? Uh, etched in it. And... Or you could choose somebody else's. So pop a flower in the comment box. And when I do the draw on each Sunday evening um, of the four weeks leading up to uh, Christmas, then I will contact you um, and let you know that you've won. If you don't have a flower, then I'll presume you don't want to be in the draw. Um, and you just have to do it once to be in all the drawers. So uh, that, that's nice and easy. So here I am. I've had this bottle of Etchol for 
absolutely ages, done lots and lots of projects with it. But at the end, you can just scoop it back into the bottle and reuse it. So you don't really use that much. And I tend to do big projects. So I've just invested in another bottle. Um, it is quite pricey. The big, I think this one cost me something like, I don't know, £13, maybe postage on top. I can't remember. But I know my big bottle has cost me £50. Um, uh, but I know it'll last me all year. I will do lots and lots of projects with it, um, but it does last such a long time. Now, I'm just popping it on in a dabbing motion. I do see that um, some people on YouTube uh, put a thin layer on, then a thick layer on, and then mess about with it. I don't. Um, if I was doing something, if, when I've used my bigger bottle now, or if I was doing a smaller design or I had more of the the fluid, I would just literally poured it on and dabbed it a little bit and left it. Uh, but because I was trying to eke it out because I didn't have a lot in, in the bottle, um, I spent more time uh, trying to spread it around. But you don't need to. You just need to pop it on, give it a little dab dab to make sure that there's no air bubbles. And so there's full coverage, full contact. And then I leave it for 15 minutes set my timer, I come back at the end, and I just give a little dab, dab, dab all the way over it again. And then um, I just uh, take it off and scoop it back into the, the bottle, as you'll see in a minute. So I'm sat, right, and I timed it for 15 minutes, and this is me back again after 15 minutes. And I just give it a little dab, dab, make sure that I have not got any little air bubbles and I've given it every chance and it's a chemical strip it's an acid and they do recommend that you use gloves um, and I would highly recommend gloves and even a um, you know safety glasses but uh, this is a case of do as I say and not as I do so here I am just scooping it all up with my brush a foam brush. You buy them in great big packs from um, the inexpensive shops like, um, well, the, I think these ones came from Hobbycraft, but I have got them from um, the range and, and other places. Wherever I see them, then they're a good price. I'll pick them up because they're all the same. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm just scooping it all back into the container and that's absolutely fine. And then I'll wash my brush out and in a moment I'll take the plate off to the sink and give it a good wash. I just run water over it, um, lukewarm water. And then I dry it off with the tea towel, wash my brush. So here I'm back. I've rinsed it under the tap and now I'm just giving it a wipe, removing the tape around the edges, which has protected it from any splashes. And I'm pulling it off. There's always that fear that nothing's happened. So you can't see that anything's happened until you pull off all the tape. You've always got that fear and when it's wet, um, it doesn't look like it's taken in all the places, but once it's dry, it does. Um, I'm just l trying to remove the adhesive vinyl and the insides of the letters. Uh, got to be careful at this point not to scratch anything. So there we go. I'm wiping it all off, giving it a good polish. And then I went and got my... Um, window cleaner and gave that gave it a good polish of that. As you can see, there we go. I think that looks lovely. Trying to um, cut down on the glare. So if you've liked what you've seen, please do hit that uh, subscribe button, like, share, comment. Uh, don't forget to leave your flower emoji. Here's the cake. As I say, we did put a, uh, a round between the cake and the plate. 
but uh, yeah, it was it was a beautiful strawberry cake. And here is the um, snowflake plate that we were asked to make. Thanks again for joining us and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye.